first fight in Bellator, making the debut here in my hometown. And there's a lot, you know, when you get to fight in front of your hometown fans, all your friends are going to be here as you're like, you're coach is going to be here, people you went to high school with. Yeah, I mean, everyone's going to be here. It's, it doesn't matter. I've got a huge family. They always come out and support. It doesn't matter where the fight is or where the venue is. So um, it's just it's just nice to actually, I, I can sleep in my own bed the week of the fight, make my own breakfast, do my own thing for lunch, and, you know, and just stay on the routine that I have. I've heard several fighters talk about in the past when you're traveling all, you know, all around the world to fight. You know, you spend eight weeks with a strict diet, watching everything you eat, and then you go to another country and you have no concept of what you're doing that last week and ruining everything you built for the last eight weeks. So it's great to be back at home. It's great to be fighting in front of the Bay Area fans, fighting in the arena that I feel like I've fought my whole career in. You know I me mean? Basically, since 2006, I've been in that arena ever since of the SAP. And, um, you know, I'm happy to be back here in San Jose with Bellator. Plus, representing the Bay Area, the champions, the giants, the dubs. I mean, there's a lot of championship here that you got you to represent, right? Right? Yeah, I've got a lot of I've got a lot to live up to, but um, you know I was a champion here before they were winning their their titles, <laughs> so that's nice. But I mean, it's, it's nice though to, to have the Dubs have pulled it through. You know, last year the Giants, the last year. I mean, we had a great year for the for the for the Bay Area, and uh, all I can do is hope to build on that this on September 19th here in San Jose. One last thing, being a local kid, you get a chance to inspire some kids. Maybe mm -hmm. they'll get excited. They'll join a wrestling program in high school or junior <clears throat> high. What's that mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, I've done a lot of uh, work here at the juvenile halls here, and um, spend a lot of time talking to the youth and trying to get them involved uh, once they get out, once, you know, different mindsets, different ideas. And um, it means a lot. You know, I try to make uh, frequent visits, you know, uh, there. You try not to, to rerun through the same kids so they don't, you don't just look like a familiar face trying to give a sales pitch. But, um, you know, you're there to try and make sure that the kids understand that there's life outside of it. Uh, the inspirational st story I like to tell them is I grew up on the east side of San Jose, which is considered probably one of the lower level, you know, areas to live in around here in the Bay, in San Francisco or in San Jose and um, <clears throat> you know so to let these kids know that you know all you got to do is just get it get it together focus on one thing and you know and you can be successful you got a prediction off uh, for the fight yeah yeah just to win that's it that's all I need right <laughs> I don't I don't need to be flashy I don't need to be showy I just need to get the job done